want to, if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. Let me know what you like. If you fucking hate this video, give it a fucking thumbs down. I don't want you to leave any of my videos without a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you fucking hate it, thumb it down. If you fucking love it, thumb it up. Let me know what videos you want to see so I can keep adjusting and calibrating to my audience. Oh, we have a video here. How to prevent ITB issues. ITB. All right, so that's a little thing that runs on your bum. This little iliotibial band runs over here into your knee. And often you get pain just about here. You get pain just about here. And you're pedaling along and you just it's just unbearable. So if you're getting pain around here or anywhere around your knee, give some little tips. Give some little tips. ITB, I suffered with this a lot. And the, uh, actually, let's tell, tell a little story. Tell a little story. Pull up a little seat. Back in 1998, I was a bicycle courier. Just every day, riding to and from town, 100Ks a day around the city, still in that mega Ks. And eventually, I did no stretching. I said, hey, no, stretching is for fucking weaklings, mate. Just get up and fucking ride. Ride, eat, sleep, stretch, fuck that. So eventually, my whole inference is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. No, no release, no stretching. And I was riding along one day, and, and the pain was so great. The pain built up over a few weeks, and I just ignored it, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, just got so great, I couldn't actually, I had to pedal with one leg back to the base, and so I'm, I'm, I'm done. And so I booked into a uh, sports med, which is called Porsche med, because so many people drive Porsches, it makes so much cash, big turnover. And we went in there, got the booking done, and they booked me in for an orthopedic surgeon. And I was like, oh, I've just got a sore knee, you know. So I went in there, and this orthopedic surgeon guy, and he's like, um, sort of like touched my knee for like maybe 20 seconds. He goes, yeah, we'll book you in uh, for a arthroscopy. And he turns his back and he's looking for his book. He goes, what, so what's a good day for you, mate? And I said, arthroscopy, what's that? And he goes, oh, we, we cut you open and we'll come in just to you know, clean up and just you know, do some things. And I'm like, surgery? He goes, yeah, surgery. What day works for you? No, 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 I, no, 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 but dude, like, I've just, got, I've just got a sore knee. You know, like, I said, this is my exact words. This is one of the, be the best orthopedic surgeons around in the house in Australia. I said, if you were, in my, if you were me, what would you do? And he goes, hmm, I'll probably go downstairs and see uh, Susan Everett, the, the physio, and maybe get some stretches or something. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go and do that. I had to ask. It's, and then, so when I went out in the, the uh, waiting room reception, she goes, yeah, it's $150 or whatever it was. I said, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that. And just walked out. And that was it. They sent me a letter. Oh, Mr. Johnston, you're right. And said, I wrote back, that's fucking bullshit. I ain't paying it. And I never heard from him again. Went downstairs, saw Susan Everett, told her what the dude upstairs said, and she's just like, uh, just like rolling her eyes. It's just like, I can't fucking believe he said that. And then she goes, she just starts poking me in the leg. And I'm like, ah. Oh. And she's like, you don't fucking stretch, do you? I said, no, I don't. She goes, all right, lay on the ground. We'll just show her some stretches. She also gave me a cord, uh, got me a cortisone shot, which isn't a really good idea. Cortisone is very popular in cycling and running. Cortisone injections, because it strips the fat off you, leans you right out, it's, it's like a bit of a stimulant, and you don't feel pain as much. So cortisone is a totally legal drug. It's so prevalent in cycling, running, swimming. It is incredible drug, cortisone. Cortisone injections are like insane. But again, they can be bad for cartilage, bad for your body in general. They can fuck up your endogenous cortisone levels. So, but cortisone is so popular in weight loss. It's incredible, but it's fucking bad. So it's like it's like a credit card. You get your results now, but you're going to be paying later. Uh, look at Jan Ulrich now. So we have uh, ITB issues there. Uh, what to do about it? Make sure. And how's my ITB now? No worries, because I stretch. I look after myself. And make sure with your cleats on your bike, if you if you stand, you basically want to look at yourself standing. And if you stand with your heels out like that, when you just relax, then set your cleats up like that. But if you stand naturally with your heels in, like I do, like most people do, you want to be pedaling with your heels in. It's a bit hard to show you, but you want to be pedaling with your heels in versus out. Have a look. Have a look at your setup. Just, just sort of look at the ceiling, sort of, and then you sort of like look down at your feet and you go, okay, oh, my heels are in. That's how your cycling shoes want to be in. They want to be in. You want to have your heels in. So you adjust your cleats so the heel's in. Your heel wants to be almost brushing your crank, really, if you have tight ITB. Have a look at your setup. Check it out, and then get a liquid paper pen and mark it around. I will give another tip, would be the roller. These are the little sticks, you can just use a piece, you don't need a fancy little plastic thing for 180 bucks, you can just use a, a, a end of a broomstick and just roll, I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Just roll, roll that, 
roll it out. You don't have to hurt the muscle to help the muscle, but just roll out. I roll my legs most nights. Self-massage is good. Another good stretch is quad stretch. Just look it up. I want to list down below of homework what you need to do, and it's, this is a simple shit. This is like 30 seconds a day, no more ITB issues. If you do have ITB pain right now, I would say have some time off. Don't train on it. Do not train on sore ITB. You can do cortisone, you can do anti-inflammatories, and you can still train, but you're going to be training through pain and you're going to do yourself some more damage. So I would recommend no drugs, no training, and just do something else. Do some bench press or whatever. Just, just have a break. Have a break and get your setups sorted out. And always when you get a bike setup done, mark your seat height. Mark your seat height. So that's what I've learned from my ITV issues. I don't have it anymore. I've done, you know, I can do six and a half thousand kilometers in a week with no pain at all. I can do 2,000. I can run a 248 marathon with 10 miles a week training with no ITV issues because I stretch a little, you know, 30 seconds a day, roll it out, mindful of where my cleats are and where my feet sit and things like that. And I also don't wear any fashion footwear. I don't wear any fashion footwear. All my footwear is a cycling shoe or my runners. You know, I don't have any fashion footwear that I couldn't run a marathon in. So get rid of you with your fashion footwear, stretch, or put down in the description text what I would recommend with ITB. It's a very common injury, probably the most common injury people get once their fitness level goes up. Once your fitness level starts going up, ITB, probably number one injury. But it's very easily prevented, very easily cured. I'll post down below. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. ITB issues. Thank you.